Hey everyone, Zool Gamer here for Zool Fandom. This is our part 7 Dragon Age Origin walkthrough. We are currently in Ostagar, about to make our preparations for the joining. I have a lot I want to cover in this video, so I will fast forward through gameplay. The main things I want to introduce you to today would be the extra dog slot mod that I added as well as introductions to Alistair, Morrigan, and Flemeth. First things first, as promised guys, I will teach you the console command for adding money to your player in increments of one gold, or a few silvers at a time. Once you've enabled console commands, you will type run script, space, zz, underscore, money, space, and in increments of 1,000, for silver and in increments of 10,000 for gold. Once you press enter, the money is added to your player. If you type 1 million, it would add 100 gold to your player. It is that simple guys and I did show how to enable console commands in one of my past videos, so let's get ready to fangirl. Prepare yourself for unpleasant news, witty one-liners, and the overwhelming compulsion to lick a lamppost in winter. Without further ado, let's meet Alistair. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Maid. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. Hardly. I just like to know my chances of being turned into a toad at any given moment. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit from High Ever. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. Good. You didn't exactly catch me at my finest with the mage there. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Alistair, the new Grey Warden. Though I guess you knew that. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Right, that was the name. You know, it just occurred to me that there have never been many women in the Grey Wardens. I wonder why that is. I'm getting that impression. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before. When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. With the mage, the Circle is here at the King's request, and the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. You don't know? Quick version then. The Chantry tries to control mages because they're dangerous, so they keep Templars that train to hunt down and kill apostates. That's what I was being trained as when Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger, and the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently they didn't get the same speech.
you do? Huh, that's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. What I'm going to do right now is actually take a look at my own gear because earlier in the walkthrough videos, I actually super critted my player. So using the console commands, I added the super crit player and added a thousand health, 50 strength, and 50 dexterity to my character. That actually gives me the ability to wear gear that I normally would not be able to wear for my level. So what I've added right now is just the Blood Dragon plate. This set is a DLC set from Bioware. It just kind of comes automatically as a gift, I believe. The Gauntlet's boots and helm are purchased from Bodan after you rescue him in Lothering. Yes? As I said, I was trained as a Templar before Duncan recruited me about six months ago. The Chantry raised me, and becoming a Templar was a decision made for me a long time ago. Duncan saw I wasn't happy, and figured my training against mages could double for fighting Darkspawn. Now, here I stand, a proud Grey Warden. The Grand Cleric wouldn't have let me go if Duncan never forced the issue. I'll always be grateful to him. I spent years in that Chantry, hopelessly resigned to my fate. Duncan was the first person who cared what I wanted. He risked a lot of trouble with the Grand Cleric to help me. It just wasn't for me. I believe in the Maker well enough, but I never wanted to devote my life to the Chantry. Then let's get a move on, shall we? As he says, we shall get a move on. We'll just make our way back through the camp towards Duncan. Soldiers of Ferelden, my sisters and gentle folks. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Half the dogs are sick from dark spawn blood. It's terrible. When we venture out into the Kakari Wilds, I'll actually be picking up a flower just called Wilds Flower for that very reason. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the maids, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect who we're missing. This is Sir Jory, a knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this here is Davith, a fellow from Denerim. Charmed, my lady. And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. The scrolls contain treaties promising support, treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Okay, so we have Sassy Alistair. We have... Davis and we have Jory in our party now, so we're going to make our way to the Kakari Wilds entrance just over here and venture out to get the treaties as well as the Darkspawn blood. Hail! 
I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Oh, Just there. be careful. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. So right away, I'm going to draw your attention to my party members. I actually will have five. I have myself, my three companions, and my Mabari is set into a pet slot. Which is the mod extra dog slot. Earlier in a few videos, you would have seen in my inventory bag a dog whistle. And I didn't want to bring it up until you have four party members active, four companions active. That's when your Mabari will then switch to a pet. The only downside I've found with this mod is that you're not able to heal your Mabari. It shall In be that done. case, that's what your mage is going to be for. It is such a simple mod, but I really appreciate it because m most likely if you've ever played with the Mabari, he ends up being left in the party picker at your camp because he's not as versatile and doesn't do as much damage as the rest of your companions. So just being able to have him with you opens up dialogue and different banter with your party, is that as well as you can have Gordon's... him fetch well, items and as ask as him looks, to go look for stuff. My scouting band Most of the time he'll come back spawn. with a companion gift, which ground. just boosts approval. That's Please always great. Help me. I've got to Another benefit of to having camp. him as my pet and always being in my party is that the if other just mod, or the focus of this I walkthrough, the Sir Gilmore myself. NPC fully voiced mod, actually has about four or five individual banters with just oh. my Mabari Hound, because I, I've got to get out of Sir here. Gilmore is my character's childhood friend, and the Mabari grew up knowing him. So it's quite fun to watch. Patrol of seasoned men so I'm really looking Darkspawn. forward to meeting down, up with Sir, Sir Gilmore in Lothering. So once we get past our joining careful, and the Battle of Ostagar, how many we will make our way to Lothering, and that's where the real fun of this walkthrough series is going to begin. There are dark spawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. That's true. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't The length of video is running a little bit long, so at this point I am I'm just going to speed up you the see, gameplay sir, and sort of motor die, through the rest we'll of this about it first. Uh, simple gameplay. That is reassuring. Which it that usually ends up being highly easy, entertaining, however. so let's watch. So let's get a move on. That flower, white with a red center. The kennel master at Ostagar was asking about those. The kennel master said this flower can help dogs that get sick from biting darkspawn. At any rate, he was offering a reward if someone went into the wilds and brought him one. Might want to think about it, is all. Well, well, what have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder come into these dark spawn filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey?
What say you? Hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Tis a tower no longer. The wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you? Yes. Swooping is bad. She's a witch of the wild, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there. Women do not frighten like little boys. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. Now that is a proper civil greeting, even here in the wilds. You may call me Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for twas not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Twas my mother, in fact. Hmm. There is a sensible request. <laughs> I like you. I'd be careful. First it's, I like you. But then zap. Frog time. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things. But it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your woman's mind give you a different viewpoint? Or do you believe as these boys do? Oh, if you must protest so quickly, perhaps I need not ask. So much about you is uncertain, and yet I believe. Do I? Why, it seems I do. So this is a dreaded Witch of the Wilds. Witch of the Wilds, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> they did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True, they came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Such manners. Always in the last place you look. Like stockings. Oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me 